Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob With me Hang on, where am I? There we are With me, Rob, bit off, there I am With my best pal, Ringo Oh, sorry Sorry everyone, I just hit you with my book um, <laughs> Now I am, let's wait, sorry if you're getting seasick Sorry about that um, <laughs> Now I'm a children's author and illustrator Maybe you've seen some of my books before This is my very first book and it's a picture book and it's called blown away and it's all about this chap penguin blue who goes out flying his kite on a windy day and he ends up getting <gasps> blown away look his friends they all try and help him because the wind's so strong they help him but they end up getting blown away too look there's wilbur the seal he joins in and so does clyde the polar bear but they all end up getting blown away across the sea and they end up hang on they end up landing in a jungle island look at that Whereas it's far too hot if you're a penguin or a polar bear or a seal. And they have to think of a clever way of getting back home again. Check it out. It's a fun story, that. Maybe you've seen my very first... That was my first picture book. This is my first novel. It's called Peanut Jones and the Illustrated City. And look, it's got words in it and everything and chapters and stuff. But also you can see, hopefully, that I've done loads of drawings. I mean, loads and loads and loads of drawings. And these drawings are like proper detailed, man. I really want you to appreciate them because they took me absolutely ages. Hang on. Oh, that's one of my favourites. There it is. I saw it. I saw it. Where is it? This is the one I want to show you. Where is it? Oh, yeah, look. It's a bit like a famous painting that you might have seen, isn't it? But it's a really fun story about this girl, Peanut, who finds a magic pencil, draws a door with that pencil, and walks through the door and finds herself in an illustrated city. So check it out. Lots of short chapters, lots of illustrations super fun even if you're a slightly reluctant reader but we are here as per usual to draw a picture aren't we but something that isn't quite as per usual is the fact that this is a very special episode of draw with rob because i am making it in conjunction with my friends at empathy day i love empathy day we've done empathy day videos before um i've done a sloth one year a couple of years ago and last year i think i did the kindness monster um, in support of empathy day now i should tell you what empathy is because some of you might not know what empathy is well, empathy is our ability to kind of put ourselves in somebody else's shoes to think about their the, think about the world from their point of view okay and that might not sound that important to you when i say it just like that but actually if you think about it it really is because that's where all kindness comes from because if you can imagine how another person is feeling about a situation then I think you might behave a bit differently. You might be a bit nicer to them if you think about how it's going to affect them. And I think it's, no matter what you do, I think it's always really, really important to think about how another person is feeling about what you are saying and what you are doing. So in a way, somebody who's good at, somebody who has a lot of empathy is sort of really good at reading people's minds in a way. So empathy is a bit like a superpower. And do you know what? That is the theme of this year's Empathy Day. The fact that empathy is our human superpower. So we are celebrating empathy's incredible power this year. The fact that it makes us all mind readers if we're good at empathy. And the brilliant thing about empathy is that, you know, we can develop how much empathy we have because empathy is like a muscle. It grows the more we use it. And the more we use it, the more motivated we become to help other people. And you know what? You can never help other people too much, can you? Now, a bit later on, we're gonna talk about a brilliant thing that the guys at Empathy Day and Empathy Lab are doing, which is called the Empathy Super Power Challenge. But I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. But I thought today, I should, seeing as empathy is like the human superpower, I should draw a superhero for you all today. Now, I like drawing animals. You all know this. You've seen my videos before. Animals are my favourite thing to draw. So I thought, right, I'm going to draw a superhero animal. Now, I've done one in the past, way back. I think it was video number 15. Um, I think we did like a superhero bear. Okay. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a super fun episode. Um, <laughs> um, but I thought, right, I'm going to draw something else today. And I thought, right, what could I draw? I wanted to draw... I like superheroes that fly. You know, like Superman those guys so I thought right I'm gonna draw a flying animal but I thought oh, I don't really want to draw a bird because it's quite hard to do a superhero bird so I thought what about what about one of those amazing sugar gliders now have you heard of a sugar glider they live in sort of down in Australia and down it's sort of in the Antipodean region of the world and what they're they're little tiny little things and they look a little bit like um 
they look a bit like sort of flying squirrels but they're amazing because they have these kind of really cool flaps of skin between their legs and their feet that enable them to jump off of trees and sort of fly they glide basically and they're amazing things and they this these sort of flaps of skin it's like they've got a built-in cloak so they sort of look like superheroes already and they're super cute and i think i put one hold on i'm going to show you in this book here which is the latest draw with rob amazing animals book right at the end there's a little kind of weird and wonderful section and look there we go there is our sugar glider friend in there and i thought oh he looks like a superhero he even looks like he's got a little mask on so that's what i'm going to show you how to draw today okay does that sound like a good plan please say yes <laughs> right in case you haven't done one of these videos before, this is how it works. You're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with. A bit later on, you're going to need something to colour with, maybe. If you haven't got anything to colour with, do not worry about it at all. You can just shade with your pencil. Whatever you've got to hand, that's what you can use. That's the beauty of drawing. We don't need loads of equipment to do it. Right. If you haven't watched Draw With Rob video before, this is how they work. Lots of people say to me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say nonsense, everybody can draw. There is no right or wrong answer with drawing. Some people might just need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawing in. And that's where I come in because I'm gonna break this little drawing of a sugar glider down into little tiny bite-sized pieces, all right? I'm gonna draw a little bit a little shape, a line, a squiggle, something like that on my piece of paper here. Then I will stop, you can pause the video and I want you to copy what I do, okay? Then start me up again, I will draw a bit more. Pause the video, you draw. Start me up, I draw. You draw, I draw, 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 and I'm at the end. When we get a blood issue, bro, look, I'm still talking like that. I can't stop talking like that now. Then by the end, <laughs> we're gonna end up with a lovely drawing of a superhero sugar glider with super empathy abilities. <laughs> this might be the strangest one I've ever done, but I'm looking forward to it. Right, shall we start? Shall I stop talking and shall we start? Right, okay. Um, shall I give you some a little sugar glider fact before we start? Okay, well sugar gliders, as I said, they're tiny little things. They are marsupials, which means they grow in pouches the babies grow in pouches, um, a bit like kangaroos or um, wallabies, that sort of thing. Um, uh, and they're tiny little things. And as I said, they're sort of Australia, Tasmania, around around there. And, um, and, uh, and when they can glide and fly with these things, they can go up to 45 meters. Think about that. This thing is that big and it can glide for 45 meters, pretty amazing. But they are super cute. That's the main thing you need to know. And the very first thing we need to draw is a kind of egg shape. So I want you to go find the center of your piece of paper and then go slightly up and to the left, okay? And I want you to draw an egg shape, but I want the egg shape to be sort of at an angle. So it's like an egg is slightly toppled over, like that. Okay, so like a toppled over egg. Then coming down from this side of the egg, we're gonna draw a diagonal line about that long. And we're gonna do another one coming down from this side, parallel to that first one, just like that. Okay. Then we're gonna join those two lines up in a nice smooth curve shape, like that. Easy peasy so far, correct? Then from the point where this line joins this egg shape, I want you to draw a straight line, almost going vertically slightly at an angle mind is and then we're going to do another one right next to it like so then we're going to join the ends up not in a straight line we're going to do it like a circle like that then we're going to do the same over here but this time it's going to be at an angle like that so from there where they where they meet we're going to do a straight line first of all then the one underneath like that and then remember, we join them up in a little circle. Then I want you to imagine that that carries on through the body and goes out this side. It goes down there. The other line carries on through as well, like so. Guess what? We're joining them up in the circle too. Again, this comes down, carries on through the other side, like that. The other one, I've done that one a bit short, haven't I? Like so. 
join them up with the circle. Now at this point I want to say to you, if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, don't worry about it. As I said, there's no right or wrong answer with drawing. In fact, I sometimes, can you see how this line that I did with my, the line that I've done with my, when I drew my original kind of wonky egg shape, it's a bit thicker on this side than it is down here. It's all a bit wibbly wobbly. There's a funny bit going on here. That doesn't quite meet up. I like it when those things happen. When we have these little happy accidents, that's what gives your drawing personality and character. So if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, don't worry about it. We don't want it to look exactly like mine. We want it to look like yours. That's the whole point of art. They're individual, they're different. When I get sent, if you look at the grids that I put up after every Draw With Rob episode, look at all the different drawings and they're all meant to be the same an animal, but everyone's looks different and I love that. That's the beauty of drawing. So if you think you've made a mistake, you haven't, just keep on drawing, okay? Right, let's carry on with our drawing. We're gonna give our little sugar glider eyes. So I want you to draw two circles quite close to each other towards the top of that funny wonky egg shape that we did. <laughs> and then, actually I'm going to change my pen to my little thinner pen here. It's just a bit easier to handle when I'm doing smaller shapes. Inside each of those circles, we're going to draw a smaller circle. And we're going to colour it, like so. Then, let's give our little sugar glider a nose and a mouth. So down here, about a centimetre away from the bottom of the head, I should have told you actually, that's the head, you know that now because the eyes, and these are the arms and the legs. And this is where the little flap of skin, the gliding flap is gonna go, we'll do that in a minute though. First of all, yes, let's do the nose. We're gonna draw a little sort of egg shape down here, as I said, a centimetre or so away from the bottom of the head, and we're gonna colour it in. And that's gonna be our sugar glider's nose, okay? The well, he looks quite cute, I think. Coming out of the middle of the nose, I want you to draw a straight line, a little one, not quite going to the edge of the face, because at the bottom we're going to draw a little tiny smiley mouth. There we go. A happy, superhero, empathic sugar glider. Empathetic. Every year I mean to look that up and I never do. Is it empathic or empathetic? I don't know. I think you can use either, actually. I think that's the conclusion that we came to. Right. The next thing we're going to do, superheroes wear masks, right? Think about it. Spider-Man wears a mask so that nobody knows that he's in his everyday life. He's Peter Parker. Superman, oh, hang on. Superman doesn't wear a mask, does he? What's Superman? Oh yeah, Superman does it the other way around, doesn't he? Because in real life, Superman is Clark Kent and he wears glasses. And for some reason, nobody can recognize. <laughs> Superman because Clark Kent Superman because he's got a pair of glasses on. I don't quite know how that works um, and I say that as a glasses wearer um, so maybe I'm Superman in real life who knows um, but anyway lots of superheroes wear masks to protect their everyday identity from being found out so let's call so our little superhero characters superpower is empathy amazing empathy right I'm gonna call them Empathio what do you think? That's a good superhero name, isn't it? You just add an O on the end and it seems to work. So this is Empathio, the superhero sugar glider. But in real life, Empathio is, um, you know, Steve. Steve Johnson. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he doesn't want... Steve Johnson doesn't want everyone to know that he's Empathio. So by day, he's Steve Johnson. By night, he's Empathio. So in order to preserve his anonymity as Steve Johnson. He wears a mask and this is how we draw the mask. Basically we're going to draw a straight line underneath the eyes and a straight line above the eyes and it really is that simple. <laughs> See no one would recognize Steve Johnson now would they? Steve Johnson. <laughs> right the next thing we're going to do they've got funny they've got very distinctive markings actually sugar gliders. If you look if you google one they're very cute google one it sort of looks like they're wearing a mask because they have these markings uh, around their eyes. Now we can't see them because they're they're under the mask, but we are gonna do like a sort of a V-shape marking that comes down from their forehead, goes through the mask and towards the nose, like that. So quite a cool kind of marking, like that. Let's give our little sugar glider a little cute tuft of hair, like that, just on top of his head. Nice! Should we give them some ears as well? 
Okay, I'm gonna go back to my thicker, thicker pen for the ears. Now the ears, they're quite sort of big. They're gonna come out of the sides, sort of out of the top of the head, slightly to the side, in a sort of egg shape. Just like that. Two little cute ears. And as per usual, we're gonna add a thinner line inside for the ear lining. Like so. Oh, starting to take shape now, isn't it? Okay, now I am gonna add a bit of detail here and here, but I'm gonna do it after I've colored in because I don't want to, you know, sometimes if I do the pen and then I color over the top, it all sort of smudges up. So I'm gonna leave that for now. Similarly, I'm gonna give them, give, uh, give Empathio here some whiskers, but I'm gonna do that right at the end. Before though, before I get to that though, we're gonna give our superhero a belt. They always wear belts, don't they, in their costumes. So we're gonna do two lines coming across there like that. By doing that, we've automatically created the sort of the pants of our superhero. They always wear their pants on the outside, don't they, superheroes? And I mean that pants in the English sense of the word, underpants, not in the American sense, which means trousers. I mean pants, underpants. Superheroes' underpants are on the outside. Okay, so on the belt, we're gonna add a kind of little egg-shaped buckle. They always have egg-shaped buckles. I don't know why. And that's gonna be our little belt. So they have, I think they do little, let's do a couple of little lines on each side. I think that's what happens with superheroes. Little lines like that. So these are the pants, this is the top. They need a little logo. What did I say? Empathio. So I'm gonna draw a little E logo. Let's see, how shall I do it? Where are we gonna go round? And we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do a little swirly bit. You know I like swirly bits, but you can do I mean, you can, you can call your little superhero sugar glider anything you like, but, and you can design any logo. But obviously the logo, the first letter, is usually what goes on the chests of superheroes. There we go, Empathio, this special E. So yeah, I wonder what you guys are gonna call yours. Okay, let's add a little sleeve end there, the end of the costume there. And they, he's gonna wear boots. Let's do the boots like little sort of upside down V shape ends to our superhero boots. Like so. There we go. Starting to take shape, isn't it? Now the most important bit of our superhero, well there's two bits actually. First of all, let's do our tail. They have these really long sort of bushy tails. So what I want you to do is coming out of here, we're gonna do a big, long, sort of furry tail with a big round end like so, comes up, goes around, goes down there. Coming out from behind, our superhero. And the most important bit, the cloak. So the, the bit that sugar gliders use to glide, the sort of flap of skin. Now it's kind of between the ankle and the wrist. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is join up this point and this point, but we're not gonna do it in a straight line, we're gonna do it in a slightly curved line. So it slightly curves in towards the body on both sides, so slightly comes in, joins up like that. And look, there is our little flying sugar glider, superhero, Empathio, alias Steve, what did I say, Steve Johnson. I like Empathio, he's super cool. Now the great thing about drawing superheroes is they are really fun to color because their costumes can be anything you like. They can be any colors you like. If you just look at the superheroes, there are all colors of the rainbow in your superheroes. And as you know, I'm very fond of color. So I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna color my superhero in. I'm gonna go into super speed mode because that's what I always do. And I'm gonna color my superhero in. I'll see you back here in 20 or 30 seconds. But remember when you color yours, don't, do the same colors as me, unless you want to, you can, of course, but do anything you like. You can add patterns, there can be hearts all over the cloak or over the, there'd be stars all over the costume. You can, anything you like, anything. There are no rules to this, but have fun. That's the only rule. I will see you back here in 20 or 30 seconds with a lovely colored in Empathio. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So there we are. There is my finished sugar glider superhero with special empathy pow powers called 
what did I say? Empathio, alias Steve Johnson. This is Empathio. <laughs> what do you think? Now, I've gone for quite traditional superhero colours. Um, basically, Superman. Am I allowed to do that? I might not even be allowed to do that. In which case, it's nothing like Superman's colours. But it's always like Superman's colours. So there we go. I've gone for a bright golden belt and gold logo. We've got the red underpants and the red boots and the red cloak. And then the blue other bits and bobs. And I've decided I wanted to keep my colour palette harmonious. So I've made my little sugar gliders fur kind of blue blues in colours and a blue tail as well so the whole thing looks nice together what do you think I'm really really pleased with this I'm really pleased with this it's a pretty good it's a pretty good little character I think maybe there's a book in this who knows Empathio the adventures of Empathio now superheroes they need catchphrases right and um I need some kind of do you know what I want to set an empathy resolution for myself I want to be more empathic, empathetic. I want to have more empathy, <laughs> okay? Um, and, and so I think my empathy resolution is gonna be twofold. I'm gonna have two points to my empathy resolution and it's also gonna be old sugar glider empathio's catchphrase too. So the two point empathy resolution that I'm gonna go with is number one, listen the most important part of empathy I think listen listen to other people when you're having a conversation don't just talk about yourself listen to what they have to say then that will help you put yourself in their shoes won't it and the second part of my empathy resolution number two be kind always be kind if that's at the front of of your mind at all times is what I'm doing kind then I don't think you'll go far wrong so look, here we go we're gonna make that empathios catchphrase superhero catchphrase one listen to be kind and that is also my empathy resolution whenever I do writing I always like to add as you if you see my signature in my books you'll see I always add these little swirly bits so I always like to do that with my writing. So there we go, my empathy resolution. One listen, two, be kind. What do you think? Also Empathio's catchphrase. Now, there are a couple of other things that we need to do. Do you remember I mentioned this earlier, I think? We're gonna add little paw prints here. You know, little paw things. So we're gonna add a circle with three smaller circles around it there, just to make it a little bit cuter. Because this, these two, the arms would be sort of facing us, so we would see the little paw pads. It just makes our little character cuter. We're going to add some little claws like that on the end, so very easy. And then, of course, oh, whiskers! I nearly forgot whiskers. Add. Let's do four on each side, I think. Oh, I don't want to smudge. Try not to smudge. One, two, three. Do you remember I said the reason I'm going to add these right at the end is because it's much easier to put the ink over the top of the pencil than the other way around. Now the very last thing we need to do, one of the most important things ever when you're doing an artwork, you need to sign it so that everyone knows who has created these lovely works of art. And there we go. That is our finished drawing of Empathio, the superhero Sugar Glider, that's what he is, isn't he? Sugar Glider, Empathio, <laughs> we like him. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now then, now then, do you remember earlier I mentioned the Empathy Superpower Challenge? Remember that? I said I was gonna tell you about it a bit later on. Well, we've got to a bit later on. So, this year, me and my friends at uh, Empathy Day, we've been challenging everyone to boost their Empathy Superpower by taking our Empathy Superpower Challenge. Now what this is, it's like a little menu of nine kind of creative and fun empathy boosting activities that you guys can do online. You just go to the website, here's the website, uh, and you complete three activities and then you get to download this really cool digital badge. But if you complete all nine, you get to download this fabulous certificate signed by, get this, the great Michael Rosen. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So find out more um, at the website, as I said, and then don't forget to pass the challenge on to somebody else 
because we want to spread empathy, don't don't we? We want empathy to kind of take over everyone because if everyone was really empathic, empathetic, I always say both ways still, I'm sorry about that. Um, if everyone had a lot of empathy, then the world would definitely be a better place, wouldn't it? And even the smallest change in your behavior can have you know, a really big impact on everyone around you. So listen, it would be great to hear how you're going to change the world. So I want you to share your um, empathy resolutions and all the work that you've been doing for Empathy Day. You can share it with us safely online um, uh, by using this hashtag here, the Empathy Day hashtag. And let's take over um, social media, shall we? Speaking of hashtag, I wanna see your drawings. Um, so if you get your grown up to take a picture of your fabulous superhero sugar gliders and then post them with this hashtag here, uh, draw with Rob. Uh, put that on social media and that way I'll get to see your drawings too, which will be fabulous. I can't wait to see them. I think they're gonna be really lovely and colorful. Now listen, I've loved showing you how to draw this funny little character today. I hope you've had a nice time um, drawing along with me. As I say, I can't wait to see your drawings. Um, and you know, enjoy Empathy Day. Have a lovely Empathy Day. Spread your empathy throughout, through all your friends. Be kind to everyone. Listen. Um, and remember, every day is Empathy Day, really. You don't have to just be empathetic on Empathy Day. Always be empathetic. Always be kind. Um, I'm going to be back very soon with a new Draw With Rob video. In fact, if you subscribe to my newsletter uh, by going to this website here and signing up, don't worry, we won't spam you. That's probably the best way of... Um, finding out when there's going to be a new Draw With Rob video and also you get to find out when I'm bringing out a new book or I'm going on tour or I'm appearing live at an event uh, near you so then you can come say hello. Um, just subscribe to that letter and we'll let you know when the latest stuff is happening. Um, if you're watching on YouTube don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and that's it. I'm going to be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime everybody Keep those pencils sharpened, keep on reading, listen, be kind, be empathetic, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am again popping up at the end of your video to annoy you. <laughs> and I'm here today to tell you all about this, the brand new Draw With Rob activity book. And it's called Amazing Animals. And that's because it's full of loads of amazing animals. It's true, it really is. We've got little ones, like this guy here. We have got, whew, some really big ones. We have got animals that live in the sea. We have got animals that spend most of their time up in the sky. And of course, there's loads and loads of really, really cute ones. <laughs> um, what's in the book, I hear you ask? Well, we have got loads and loads of really cool and quite tricky puzzles for you to do. Uh, we've got some pages where I start the drawings off and you guys get to finish them. We have got lots of really, really nice colouring pages for you to do too. And of course, it wouldn't be a Draw With Rob book without lots of exclusive, never before seen draw alongs. And I've got the frames as per usual for you to put the pictures in. And of course, all the pages are perforated. So once you've done your beautiful works of art, you can tear them out and stick them up on the wall and display them for all to see. And then when you get to the end of your book, look, We've got a really cool certificate. You put your name in there and it says, this is to certify that your name is officially an amazing animal artist. Isn't that cool? The book is out right now. You can get it right now from wherever you get your books, be it online or from your local bookshop, local bookshop, if you can, please. It was so much fun to put this book together. I really, really loved doing it. I really, really hope you love the book too. I think if you like these videos, I think you're gonna love this book, to be honest. So get yourself a copy. If you do, let me know what you think of it. Right, I better let you go. You've got to get on with your day, haven't you? I'm gonna be back very soon with another Draw With Rob 
video. In the meantime, everybody, keep those pencils sharpened, keep on drawing, keep on reading, and take care. Bye-bye.